Going to the top. 1,500 feet. Takes about an hour and a half. So here we go. So if you look out there in the field, you can see the guys with the trucks and they are getting the two antennas that we're installing today rigged and they're going to be hoisting those up the tower while we're climbing and uh, it's a long lift. It takes about two hours for that to get to the top. So we got plenty of time to climb. <sighs> We got some big antennas to get past too, so. So now I'm about 500 feet up the tower. You can see that they got the antenna coming up and a tag rope going back to the trucks. So the wide antennas floating over the top of the trees right now. And uh, they're slowly letting the tag rope into the tower. Looks like a UFO floating up there. Anyway, so we're still climbing, got a long way to go, still have a thousand more feet and I got two guys above me climbing. So we are now up at 1200 feet, we have to climb through an FM antenna that wraps around the tower, which is going to be, it always is really challenging because it's so tight to climb through there and we have to wear RF suits. So you'll see I've got a hood on. And this protects me from the RF so I don't get cooked. So we're gonna climb right through this thing. I just climbed through that FM antenna there. It's like a maze. It really sucks balls because it's so tight. It takes forever and your gear gets hung up on everything. You can see the antenna from the outside here. That big thing there on both sides. not fun and it cooks your ass they got to turn down to 10% when that thing is 100% it'll literally cook you and burn you so now at 1500 feet near the top of the tower still lifting our load pretty high up At the top of this tower is a candelabra of three outriggers that extend off the top section of the tower and actually hold three antennas, which I'll show you when we get up there. The second one. And the third one. We're going to climb right up the middle here. All the way down. of the 1500 foot tower and those are the two antennas that we installed below me and I'm actually up on one of the monopoles that sticks up above this outrigger and you can see the tower and the center of the tower right there So there's the center, 
And you got those three outriggers that stick up. There's one right there. Until that goes all the way up. And then there's another one. Right there, a big ass antenna in front of me. Actually, another one on top of that one. And then the one that I'm on, this ladder. Outriggers. It's kind of hard to see all this, but anyway. Uh, uh, 1,530 feet, and the highest I've ever climbed is uh, 1,572. So even if I went to the top of these an antennas, I wouldn't even beat my record. So it's like 1,560 to the top. So. So we got the cables coming up the conduit. Right now there's only one fiber and one control cable that we actually have to lower the control cable because it's burnt from the FM antenna. But it makes a transition underneath the, the double horizontal there and hits a beam clamp and hanger and then goes along the bottom of the foot rail <coughs> for the catwalk and hangers across and then up to the boxes which are mounted to Unistrut on the catwalk I'm just on the inside here so everything's dressed underneath uh, this is the fiber transceiver uh, and that's the fiber patch panel uh, so everything's coiled up right here end up we gotta take this uh, troll down with us because of the problem we have here but from that troll box, there's going to be another troll box mounted right there in that space. Um, everything's dressed to each ENG. You can see the coax and the control cable. And the power is also in that bunch going from there. Dressed in hangers along the horizontals. I'm sorry, the diagonal. And goes up underneath. Hit some more beam clamps on the back side there. Every, actually less than three feet, so it's more secure than it needs to be. Um, you can see here, just follows along the other side of that C channel. It comes up with the beam clamp and hangers right there to the NG. Everything's weather sealed. And uh, this is the south antenna. The north antenna is over here. So everything looks good to the south. We've got the grating on top of the monopole mount on the outrigger here. That turned out pretty good. Temporarily put some zip ties on the door so it doesn't open up. So the face mount turned out good off of that south face. And then on the north face over here, got the other ENG. That turned out really good too. So you got the face mount on the tower, and then the triangle mount off of the face mount, the ENG with the kickers and the grating, and then the cables are dressed again along the horizontal here in hangers quite frequently and go up underneath and head down and go underneath the grating and then hit the ENG at the base. Everything's weather sealed and I'm going to put some zip ties on that door too so it doesn't open up. That's it. We'll finish up whenever we get the cable fixed.